Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing quick review of this Reyu Red Light Therapy Belt with 23 watts. It's a near infrared light therapy for muscle pain relief, inflammation relief. Of course, also for elbow joints, knees, back pain, those things. What's also important to know is that red light therapy is a clinically studied FDA approved treatment which is very safe. There are also similar devices which are emitting blue light. Blue light can be very dangerous. The red light is very safe so you don't need any goggles or so. And this box is also very beautiful so this would also work as a perfect gift for somebody who is suffering from pain. So let's open the box and see what we get. It comes also with this short instructions manual. Hope it's focusing so you can read everything and it is very short so you can definitely see how easy this is to use but there is still quite some nice information here which can help you and also some cleaning and treatment instructions. What's of course important is not to bend this device too much because there's sensitive electronics inside. And so we have two packages in the packaging and the one is the power supply and this one is the belt itself you can see it's also a little bit bent and you can definitely a little bit bent but not really fold it really tight and this is the remaining part of the power supply so you can see you get full power adapter for 110 volts but we get also this alternate usb power cable so we can hook it up to our power bank and then we are very flexible we can even walk around with this thing and so you can see we have a lot of straps here which can work really nicely to attach this almost everywhere and the really good thing in the latest version they have added this additional velcro belt which can also help a lot to secure it this was based on customer feedback so you can see that they really care about their customers and so i've connected the usb power cable to my power bank and so we hook it up here we get the green light it's ready to go but it doesn't start on its own we have to push the green button here and when we push it for the first time, you can see the red light turns on. And it's not only the red light, also the near infrared will be on. Then we press here again and only the red LEDs will be turned on and the near infrared will be turned off. Of course, there's no difference to see because the infrared is invisible. And then we press again and only the infrared LEDs will be on and red LEDs will be off. Of course, because of the infrared light is invisible to human eyes, so it may appear that the LEDs are off, but actually they are turned on. But the good thing, you get the green light, so you will know that it's on. And then we can press again, the green light goes off, and also this is off. But there are, of course, even more functions here. When we push here and it goes into green, we can then long press for three seconds and then it will turn blue. And now all the LEDs are in pulse mode and we push again and only the red LEDs come to pulsing mode. We push again and only the near infrared LEDs will come to pulse mode. Of course, again, we can't see that and we push again and all the LEDs will turn off. I have added also these USB meters. You can see the power consumption is very low, even in this mode where we have everything on. So it's about one amp or even below. So an average power bank can provide power for around 10 hours of therapy really nice and so because it's so convenient to use the usb i've brought a smaller power bank you can see very small one but still enough power and you can see it fits easily and so we are ready to go you can see it's really working very lightweight with this power bank very flexible so we can even walk around and watch tv or whatever you want to do working on the computer really really convenient of course there's always a little bit of a discussion if it's better to have the power button here integrated into the device or have have it somewhere on a cord or so and have it then flexible so if you're using this device here on the back of course you don't have access you would have to turn it on go into the correct mode and then put it on the back and then remove it and then stop it but i think it's still the better solution than a wired remote control which could get damaged or tangled or something like that 
and so I've been wearing it now for a while. It was really comfortable, of course, gets a little bit warm, but definitely not unbearable hot. So really lightweight, definitely a big plus. And there are a lot of people reporting really, really good effects from this. Of course, it's not an overnight miracle. You would have to work a little bit longer with this to see good results. But from my side, so far, really full recommendation. And so I'll put down the link to the Amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out and order it right from there if you like it. And I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments, just write to the comment section below. And I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.